the Santa Fe Sport draws power from four-cylinder engines, with or without a turbo given the big power gap and slight gas mileage disadvantage, we'd stick with the turbo four in that configuration. The Sport lives up to its potential we'd give it a 7 out of 10 for performance a 2.4 liter inline four slots into the base Hyundai Santa Fe Sport it's something of a weakling it turns in 185 horsepower and 178 pound-feet of torque, and it is so in a busy, breathless way the same engine works much better in the Sonata sedan, which usually carries less weight than a 3,739 pound Santa Fe Sport. Stickham said with a 2.0 liter turbo 4, also available in the Sonata in the Santa Fe Sport, it's rated at 240 horsepower and 260 pounds FT of torque shifts stream out from a 6-speed automatic with slightly taller gearing, and power builds quickly at low revs. The Sport has confident acceleration, and drops only a single MPG to the non-turbocharged engine while it hands off towing ratings of up to 3,500 pounds. The 6-speed automatic benefits from well-sorted shifts and well-chosen ratios, but paddles? You're thinking another brand. The sport relies on a hefty jab of the gas, at which point it takes a half beat before it shifts eagerly into the low gears it does so smoothly, you don't have to concentrate to come off as a skilled driver here the sport's electric power steering now has three modes, and it's incrementally better than older versions of the same rack that said, Hyundai uses a column mounted motor that doesn't deliver precise steering feel the sport wanders a bit on interstates. Setting steering to sport mode adds weight, and that helps it track more cleanly. The Santa Fe Sport can be fitted with an optional all-wheel drive system that uses an open center differential to distribute power from the front wheels to the rears when traction needs arise, and leans on anti-lock control to clamp down on wheel spin. It's not meant for ultimate off-road traction, but for on-road, all-weather capability.